Here's Brody Brazil. Well, look, obviously time catches up to all of us, and LeBron James, while seeming superhuman, is no different. And I don't know if he's got one or two or more seasons left as a player in the NBA, but obviously his time in that career is soon winding down. But I don't want to dwell on that. I'd rather focus on his accomplishments, his longevity, his success over a period of time. It's been so impressive how he's been sustainable in this league, how he's adapted and always figured out what's next, including now. As he looks at the future and wondering what LeBron will do as a person and as a professional, he's made it quite clear on a number of different occasions he would love to own an NBA team that expands into Las Vegas. So this is not new, and while he was with the Lakers for an exhibition game earlier this week, it's not the first time that he's brought up the idea or talked about bringing NBA basketball to Las Vegas. Look look at him on, on social media there. The Las Vegas-branded NBA shirt and the smirk on his face. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to be successful in this. He knows how to bring it attention. He knows how to kind of wedge his way into an opportunity like this, which already has some momentum. So when he's at the press conference before the game and he's asked about Las Vegas, it really comes as no surprise. In fact, he was probably pretty prepared for it. The question was, why do you remain so interested in basketball here in Las Vegas? This is what he said, quote, you have the Raiders here. You have the Golden Knights here. You have the Aces here. You've got F1 coming very soon. All-Star Weekend has been here a few times. You've got the NBA Summer League that's very popular. I think adding an NBA franchise here would just add to the momentum that's going on in this town. I think it's only a matter of time, and I hope I'm part of that time. Did he miss anything there? He's talking about Las Vegas, sports, expansion, excitement. Let's go over that one more time. NFL, NHL, WNBA, F1, Summer League. Did LeBron forget to include the A's and potential relocation that's very much on the table? Like, why would he not include that in the same conversation? It only adds fuel to the exact fire that he wants to burn here. Now, I know a lot of you would say, Okay, you might be exaggerating on this, making a bigger deal out of this than it actually is. I think the bigger deal is that he forgot it. Sure, I am making a deal out of this. But the bigger deal is how do you omit one of the major pros uh, for sports leagues that's on the verge of coming to Las Vegas in this line of commentary? I'm not suggesting anything sinister here. It just wasn't even on... LeBron's radar, crazy enough. And like I said, he knows what he's doing here. Tim Lewicki is part of the Oakview Group. He's their CEO, and he's poised to bring an NBA arena to Southern Nevada. There's a 66-acre site. It's going to be a $10 billion arena district. The NBA arena is going to seat 20,000. It's going to be south of the Strip, south of, what, 215 there, right off of I-15? And the thing about it is that he came out literally less than 24 hours after SB1 was approved. $380 million of public money for an A's stadium at the Tropicana site. This is exactly what he said, again, less than a day after that was approved. On this arena, I'm not asking anybody for any money, Lewicki said as the crowd cheered. We're not going before the state. We're not going before the county. He's been part of... Other pro sports ownership groups, other arena construction projects. Basically, he's saying, you know what? We're just going to fast track this. My point in bringing this up, LeBron definitely knows what he's doing and knows there are others out there who want to be part of what he's doing. LeBron himself cannot, I don't think, own and fund an NBA expansion team. There's the fee. There's all the startup costs. And yeah, you know, paying for a team. But he could collaborate with somebody like Tim Lewicki, who, as part of the Oakview Group, might build a building, might also want to contribute some money to what LeBron has in mind. And so this does seem like a very real thing for the near future. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver said this summer, he addressed reporters, this was on a Monday back in 
June, July, or August. So at some point during the summer, during Summer League, I guess, in Las Vegas, that's when it was, touched on a number of topics, most notably expansion. He confirmed that the league will begin exploring the idea once the current media rights deal is up in 2025. Quote, we will turn to expansion once those new media deals are done. It's not a sure thing, but as I've said before, I think it's natural that organizations like the NBA grow over time. And to be very clear, the NBA is quite interested in going back to Seattle. Like here's another MLB Oakland A's parallel. The NBA and commissioner, former commissioner, the late David Stern, at one point he realized that taking that team out of Seattle, moving them to Oklahoma City, not so much the move, but the the removal of them from Seattle was a mistake. And so the NBA is still, after all these years and decades, trying to right that wrong and get the NBA back up into Seattle. But there's no question that Las Vegas, based on all the other things, would be a front runner. Let me also say that this also relates to every other sport and potential sport like the Oakland A's and Major League Baseball in Las Vegas in that it's one more competition factor for business, for fans, for opportunities, for sponsors. Look, I I understand how many tourists that Las Vegas brings in and the entertainment industry that it has become. Totally recognize that. But all of a sudden... Going from just the Golden Knights to the Golden Knights and the Raiders to also F1 to also the WNBA, your minor league baseball team would still like to exist. There's also a pro sports, a pro uh, soccer team there. And now you're likely adding Major League Baseball and the NBA. So at some point, it's just expanding so fast, we will see how it all plays out. You made it here to the end of the video. You know I appreciate that. Thumbs up down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so I can definitely see you back here next time.